Sajda, verse 11. In addition to some of the verse to remind, verses we reminded ourselves of two weeks ago, Allah says in Surah Sajda, chapter 32, verse 11, hear what Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman قُلْ يَتَوَفَّاكُمْ مَلَكُ maut. The angel of death, الَّذِي وُكِّلَ بِكُمْ ثُمَّ إِلَى رَبِّكُمْ تُرْجَوْنَ so some scholars say there is one angel of death. Some say, no, 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 no. There are many angels who are in charge of death. And we're not getting into too, too, many, too many tough seer here right now. But they're the angel that is in charge of death. Some say many angels are charged. They got duties. Many angels in charge of this and that and the others. But there is an angel that will be in charge of taking our soul. Already dedicated by Allah before we were even born. Interesting. Huh? You see, that's why in Islam we do not say, Why did you take my mother? Why did you take my father? Why did you take my wife? Why? That is un Islamic to say that. Brothers and sisters, a Muslim is not allowed to say, Why you took my wife? Why you took my son? Why didn't you take me instead? We cannot question Allah's kudrat. This was written before we were born. This was written before our husbands were born, before wives were born, before our parents were born. We cannot question Allah. We didn't question Allah as to why we were born from a certain woman's womb and she became our mother. We have no control over that. We have no control if we're going to be born a Chinese, an African, an uh, American, an Arab, or whatever it is, what nationality, what race. We have no control over that. That's the choice of Allah. Interesting, huh? So therefore, we don't question those things. You don't question those things. You see, when we will be born, where we will be born, when we will die, where we will die, all that has been written by Allah. In whose womb our soul will be placed, we don't have control over that. You see, the souls, as we were saying a few weeks ago, they live. Allah created them. They're there in the billions. And then Allah chooses which womb he will put that, which womb he will put that soul into. And similarly writes when that soul will leave. So Allah is saying here that there is an angel in charge of taking our ruh, our soul. Thumma ila rabbikum turja'un. And then that soul will be returned back to Allah. Just as it came from Allah into the womb of the mother, Allah will take that soul back. But... For a temporary time, all the souls will be in a place called Barzakh. Neither are they able to do anything in this world, and neither are they able to do anything beyond the Day of Judgment, or beyond that Barzakh, an invisible wall between them. Like the Barzakh in the ocean that Allah separates the salt water and the sea water. It's called a Barzakh, a barrier. Invisible. Yeah. And we've got to believe it, because all the people that passed away, they don't control anything back here. So much here. Muslims are not supposed to be superstitious people. Muslims go by the Quran. We go by the Quran and we have a way to live by. 